Hello everybody, it's Alan here on the farm on Route 66 and uh, I decided to do something yesterday that I wasn't planning on but and some of you may be sad I'm doing this or some won't care. <laughs> um, Vicki was surprised that I, I was going to go ahead and do this so let me uh, tell you what I'm going to do and I'll take you along to start getting things ready. Well, Yesterday I got a call from someone that watches our channel consistently. His name's Mike and his wife's name's Vicki. And uh, he said, hey, I reached out on, I think he said email, but I hadn't got back to him on, and I remember getting an email or, or message on Facebook that they were interested in Miss 66. And uh, anyway, he was calling me to see if I would if I would sell and um, well I told him that I hadn't tried selling her and really didn't have the desire to sell her I'd kind of thought I'd keep her but as we talked and as I found out their situation and where uh, Miss 66 may be going I decided I'll go ahead and sell Miss 66 and uh, again, I'm a little sad about it. Vicki couldn't believe I was doing it. But my goal is to find good homes for my horses. And, and I like breeding the registered quarter horses. And I've noticed that everyone likes Lex's babies. This is Lex and that's Miss 66. Sorry, I was getting bumped by the donkey back here. So there's Miss 66 back there. And Miss 66 is about five months old right now, six months old. I've got to look at her exact birth date. She's a registered quarter horse. She's out of Lex and by 66. 66 is the stallion, is my stallion, and Lex is the mom. And this is Miss 66, and she is a beauty. I know I'm biased. Man, the horses are really getting in the way here today trying to film but I know I'm biased but I think Miss 66 may be one of the nicest that I've ever raised she's a red roan and she's gonna be a beauty she's got that little Hershey kiss on her nose and that kind of unique mushroom Lex I love you to death but man alive you're trying to take all the attention today so anyway I'm gonna put a halter on Miss 66 and we're gonna start getting her ready because we've got to get a Coggins test and get a health certificate and get her ready to go to Florida. And uh, let me show you some pictures of where she's headed. So I'm going to put a halter on Miss 66 and we're going to mess around with her a little bit. <laughs> She's like enjoying playing right now. She has an appointment on Thursday to go get her Coggins test and health certificate done. I'll put her in my magical suit here and put her halter back on and we're gonna be playing with her a lot in the next week or so so that she's ready to go I sure love this filly and I'm excited for Michael and Vicki in Florida to enjoy her and their grandkids and I, I think she's the perfect cross that I've I've been able to produce 
and I haven't been able to keep Lex's daughters or around very much. They've all sold very well. Peaches is one of her daughters, but I got her back. I saw, I got, I traded her to get her back. So this is one of Lex's daughters, a three-year-old. And this is one of 66's daughters, a two-year-old, coming two-year-old. And so Miss 66 is the combination of both those bloodlines together. Kind of excited to see her go to Florida, even though we're gonna miss her around here. And I still have plenty of mares to breed to 66. Peaches can be bred to 66. So can Lily right here and Lex. Miss, or I'm sorry, Penny back there is a daughter of 66. So I don't want to breed her back to her dad. But then Chipper is in full to 66 right now. So I still have plenty of registered mares so that I can breed the 66. And uh, cause I want to keep producing the quality of horse that we see here in Miss 66. So I put a halter on her and uh, now we're gonna just mess around with her a little bit. And uh, there you go, back, back, back. Good girl. Okay, oh, let's go. Let's work on leading a little bit more. We've got to get her leading really well in the next week so she can get on and off a trailer <laughs> for the week it's going to take her to get to Florida. I don't know if it'll take a full week, but they stop every night. The shipper that we use, they're awesome. Gary and Arlene Osmond, we can include their contact information. They have been awesome for hauling horses all over the country for us and something I never would have dreamed would have happened. Hey guys, so we just got a super cool light called the Night Tour. Since I just redid my room, I did it and my mom said I had to get, do the review, so let me show you what it can do. So the Night Tour is a rechargeable LED lamp that can go up to 31 hours uncharged. It also has a 90 degree angle so you can change it different directions. But one of my favorite things is all the cool colors it has. So you can just have it where it goes through all the colors or you can have it on like a rainbow. And if you hold it up, it turns up the brightness and if you hold it down, it turns down the brightness. I always have it right here next to my O-Bulb. Um, I love all the fun colors at night and it's super bright. Olight is the best. They have tons of products and they have great deals all the time. They're doing up to a 35% percent off deal and so much more. So you got to go check them out. Thanks for helping me get my Olight. Horses from the farm under 66 have gone all over the country. It's pretty crazy, but it's really fun. I've had one of the 66 of 66's babies go to, it was either Alabama or Arkansas, I can't remember which one. And now she's going all the way to Florida. But she's sure a sweetheart. This is really only about the third or fourth day we, I've messed with her. And yet, look at this. I'm able to get her to take a few steps on her own without a butt strap or without pressure behind her. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. She's doing really good. So anyway, I'm going to tie her up for a little bit and go get a brush and just brush on her for a little bit. Well, I'm gonna brush her off. This is one of those brushes that our friend Sally, well, I think she goes by Silly Sally on YouTube. She sent us some really neat brushes and she's giving me a hard time that I still use the old metal curry comb all the time. <laughs> There's Blake. Blake's uh, on his way to go play basketball against our rival school 
hopefully we'll do better than we did last time. <laughs> but Blake wasn't playing last time, so. So I guarantee I'll do better than I did last time. <laughs> That's right. That was cool. That was really good. That's awesome. Hey. So, some of you may be wondering what a registered quarter horse costs, and that can be all over the board. I'm selling Miss 66 for $3,500, and uh, I feel good about it, but I also feel like I'm giving them a good deal. She, she ser seriously is one of the nicest horses I've ever raised. She's just amazing. And, uh, but then Michael and Vicki are gonna have to haul it all the way to, to Florida. And you may wonder what that costs. And our shipper charges, the Osmonds are charging a dollar per loaded mile. So you do the math. Uh, if you wanna do from Northern Arizona to Florida, it's a little over 2,000 miles. So Miss 66 is in for a long drive and uh, Michael and Vicki are, are paying a pretty penny for this girl. But you've seen where Miss 66 is gonna be living and I don't think anything but the prettiest horses ought to be on that place because that's, that's awesome. <laughs> what did you say last night when you saw uh, the pictures of where she is headed. Oh, yeah, last night I see the pictures, I was like, go ahead and call them and tell them we're sending me instead of the horse. <laughs> Blake's like, you can send me to that location, so. <laughs> anyway, pretty awesome. Here, you wanna brush her for just a second? Yeah. When do you have to be at the school? Uh, I better head on in about five minutes. Okay. Those of you that wonder how we got the name Miss 66, we had some sweet girls from Mississippi come visit our farm. There's, they watch our channel and I let them name Miss 66. And those of you that live in the South, I just love how proper and, and polite you are. And those girls were calling Vicky Miss Vicky all the time. And I had pointed that out. And so as they're coming up with a name, they thought of calling her Miss 66. And Michael and Vicky are going to keep that name. That's a registered name. So um, anyway, that's going to be on our papers. So anyway, thanks for coming along. And we're sad to see her go. You may see her a time or two more as we get her ready in the next week to get on the trailer. I'll take you along as we go get a Coggins test and health certificate. But we're just going to be messing with her a little bit each day to make sure she's ready to load and unload every day as she heads to Mississippi, or not to Mississippi, to Florida. <laughs> Maybe a shorter rope would be better, actually. I think if you shorten the rope tighter, closer. messed with. Oh, there you go, Blake. I hope I'm not making you late though.
that for the first day of working with our feet. So anyway, Vicky and I are going to head over to the basketball game. Maybe we'll show you a few highlights, but tell me what you think. Am I crazy to sell Miss 66? I wish I could keep a lot of horse. Well, you're all probably thinking, them. yeah, all of the horses. Cause I do hey, keep. I'm going to head out. See you guys. All right. See you. Love, you, Love you. So you may be thinking, why is he selling this one? Why doesn't he keep it? I can't keep them all. And that's kind of what I'm in the business of doing is raising nice horses and rescuing horses that we can get to new homes. And uh, Miss 66 is about as, as nice as they come. And who knows, maybe Senator to Florida is gonna open up some other avenues. Maybe some people in Florida will fall in love with her and wanna buy some of the future 66 babies. Thanks for coming along. and. Uh, now we'll take you to the game and, oh, I just noticed I'm wearing the Walker Farm Fam. If you haven't checked out their channel, go check them out and tell them the farm sent you, the Farm Under 66. We love the Walker Farm Fam and uh, love this hat. Thanks for giving that to us, guys. Anyway, come to the basketball game and then we'll call it a day. So thanks for coming along. Take it in! Take it in! Oh. 